It's about some of the most endangered buildings. <laughs> you know, some of them are high rises, some of them are workplaces, and some are places of worship. But one thing seven Chicago landmarks have in common is that they have just been listed endangered by Preservation Chicago. So take a look, the seven locations, uh, they span all across the city from the north to the south. You can see that on the map over here on my right. Uh, they include the Century and Consumers Building, the Chicago Vocational School, the trio of Ogden Keeler Industrial Buildings, a row of brick and stone townhouses from the Sheffield Belden Group, the Schulze Baking Company Building, the Strangers Home Missionary Baptist Church, and the historic Bronzeville Swift Morris Mansion. Christian Farr has more on the threats that they face. We like to uh, sort of spotlight these buildings, if you will, uh, and encourage their preservation. Preservation Chicago's Ward Miller is on a mission to save seven Chicago buildings that he says hold an important significance to the city's history. We really need to recognize these important buildings, uh, components and cornerstones of our community, and we need to save them. The nonprofit's seven endangered buildings are located throughout the city and include these four 125-year-old townhomes at Sheffield and Belden Avenues, along with the Chicago Vocational School on East 87th that dates back to World War II. Over the last uh, number of years, we've had uh, Century and Consumers buildings on our list for uh, more than five times. But number one on the list are a set of buildings in the 200 block of South State Street, known as the Century and Consumers buildings. Miller says the architects who built them designed the first skyscraper and are now owned federally by the Government Services Administration. Miller says the GSA set aside $52 million to tear them down. There was a promise when they acquired them that they would restore the buildings, and, uh, and that promise has been really unfulfilled for a number of years. Also on the list is the Swift Mansion here at 45th and South Michigan. It dates back to Chicago's meatpacking days, and recently it was damaged in a fire. Ward Miller says there's an important reason why it's on this list. It's been a funeral home. It's been a lot of things. It was home to the Chicago Urban League for 20 years, a really important aspect. And we know that this is privately owned, but it should be protected. Miller says the key to saving these iconic structures is by increasing public interest so that these buildings can be saved. We just need to figure out how to make this happen. Uh, we're a big city. We're a world-class city. We can do this, folks. In Bronzeville, Christian Farr, NBC5 News.